Hey, Brian, and any other UE4, UE5 people, community people. So this is a scene I have in UE4, and everything is using world position offset. The flowers, these tiny critters over here, especially the grass. And in this case, the grass is all literally just like extruded cubes with tessellation. Model tessellation, just a lot of vertices. About 30,000 verts per cluster, well, square cluster at least. And it all looks quite fine. And this is why I personally would love to see some kind of uh, world position support for Nanite, even though mm, the way, I don't know. Anyway, so for funsies, I converted this to UE5 and I already made everything a Nanite mess, so that's why the grass isn't moving. But it's actually running rather fine. Uh, Lumen is active as well, and I'm still getting about 70 frames per second. A little bit less. And, oh, wrong one. Uh, nanite visualization. Let's just use the overview. And in this particular case, for this kind of grass, it actually runs and works pretty well. Sadly, there's no animation, of course, but. I should actually disable Lumen and see the performance difference, though I'm not sure if that's going to be anything because this is running at 120 FPS. I don't want to go into the other details, but yeah, for graphs like this, Nanite actually works really well. And you can't really see any detail changes. I'm not really happy with the way the shadows work at the moment, they're way too sharp, but I haven't played around with any lumen settings yet. I just wanted to show you that for certain types of grass, this works. And that's actually really cool. Even at a distance, it seems to be fine. We could try the heat map maybe, but uh, it's a little bit high over here in the end. But since this game is from this distance and with this kind of camera angle, I don't see or foresee any problems. So. Yeah, just wanted to show you. And having fun with UE5, so take care.